Everyone shut up. Put it on vibrate. It is. <laughs> Put it on silent. Party people in the place to be. What's going on? It's me. It's me. As well as Trapzilla. Uh, Introduce yourself. I, it's too sore. I can't even flex my traps because Trapzilla did trap day yesterday. And, and ow. Ow. Where's the camera? Who went for the money? It's right at the top. Is that flashing light? That smells like mouthwash. That's that's ninety nine percent alcohol. Yes, it is because I didn't have time to uh, do a margarita mix or whatever. This is two drink minimum reactions. And even though I wasn't drunk while we were watching what I was reacting to, um, mm. I was thinking about it. Woo! There it goes. Two for I, the show. I should have drank. Mm. I should have drank. Oh, two for the show. I should have drank. We watched Avengers. He. I should have drank. Him for the second time, me for the first time. <coughs> uh, and it seems like our reactions are uh, varied. I liked it. You, not so much. Why not? Meh. <laughs> Why not? Avengers. Yay. Um, well, as I said to you, 30 minutes, uh, right before we started filming, was 30 minutes in a farm! Hey! 30 hey, minutes in a farm! Hold on, hold on. Here's why the 30 minute, well, okay. Here's, there, there's, there were things wrong with the 30 minutes on the farm, there were, one thing, there were things that were right. Because it's me, let's focus on what was wrong. First and foremost, uh, Hawkeye's wife, it, spoilers, by the way. Oh, just, all the just spoilers. spoilers. Just every spoiler. Spoilers. If you don't want to know spoilers, don't watch this, but yeah. watch it anyway. Just go click away. Click the like, and then once you see the green spoiler, just click off. All right? And then share with your friends anyway. Spoilers. Uh, so what was wrong with the uh, – one of the things I noticed, because, you know, I listen to the Hollywood and read all the Hollywood and pre-shoot shit for some movies, including this one, was how – good how well they shot around and digitally took out and a lot of stand-in-ish stuff for uh black widow aka scar joe when she was pregnant on you could you you couldn't notice it except for the fact she was sitting down and behind bars and all the other silly shit that hollywood does meanwhile hawkeye's wife her pregnancy looked fake as fuck <laughs> she they look like they put like literally just like stuck a towel under her shirt that was what was wrong what was right with it was they gave Hawkeye a personality for a fuck. I actually I gave a shit about Hawkeye I've as heard, opposed to the last movie where I've I gave no fucks. Say that. I've heard, I gave zero fucks about Hawkeye. I've watched multiple videos to specifically to find things I may have missed in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and seeing it a second time, I didn't catch anything I didn't see the first time, probably because my eyes kept going towards the same things. I could give two fucks less about Hawkeye. Hawkeye... Never mattered before, and he doesn't matter now. He did not matter before. But they gave him up. something to do in this one. And that's what was grossly sure, missing from the first one. You know what's been grossly missing from the franchise? A mask. Because Hawkeye wears a mask. Okay. So give him his mask. Well at least let us let us be like, Yay, it's Hawkeye. Well maybe well maybe you know this, but one thing that did strike me, uh, since we're talking about inconsistencies, was ScarJo's character is Russian, is was Russian assassin with the fucking Whatever the fuck, act, America, um, super American accent. Why? I'm not super into the comics. I, like I, I'm conversational. I'm not fluent. I don't know. Why the fuck? Why does fuck she have an American accent? Why doesn't she? Her does Russian she accent say, was in like the very first part of her. Why are we not hearing Comrade didn't shit? That was that she only did it once. She hasn't done it since. Why not? I don't know. Cause maybe it's fake. Thor still has his accent. Because he's actually from Asgard. Maybe she's not from Russia. She was just a Russian spy. Maybe she was kidnapped. I don't know her origins. Comment. Let us know. Watch the origins video. There's an origins video out just recently. I watched Vision's origins video because I wanted to find out how he was made. Mm -hmm. And because, of course, it's not how he was made. I mean, it's close. It's close. Ultron, completely you, wrong. You mean Adidas didn't make him in a factory? <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't like an Adidas logo right here. <laughs> Wait, I have to add an Adidas logo. And Audi. There was not a whole lot of product placement, but the product placement that was there was, was there. Enough. There was Under Armour. Under Armour did it very sneakily on on Cap's shirt, but it it was still like oh. You didn't yeah. notice it, and I was gonna say it. It was on the back of Tony Stark's Under Armour long sleeve shirt. Oh, see, the whole I see. I didn't thing. notice that. Yeah, it was. They almost zoomed in on it once. They're just like, <laughs> bye, Under Armour. Okay, I don't like it for many reasons. For one, I was poor. Um, this time around, I was falling asleep. Sorry, but I was. Um, 
the the Ultron story is wrong. So that kind of bothers me. Okay. Because guess who guess who made Ultron? You're never gonna guess. Please, because I know you don't know. Ant Man. We're having an Ant Man movie. So why not just put those hands together and fucking make him make him? Mm -hmm. Fine. Whatever. So it's a rogue computer program that's in an infinity gem that now is in a dead Iron Man body, which has been made. Okay, sure. Here's why. Okay, here's. I'll stop you right here on why I'd make Ultron. Because, um,. One thing I've noticed in the in the Marvel movies that I've seen where they're not where they're separate is that the villains suck. When it's just Iron Man, his villains suck. When it's just uh, Captain America or Thor, their villains suck. But for but they have to up the ante when you have all of those fucking Avengers there. So maybe Ultron is the Brock Lesnar of villains. And they had to bring him in for, for it to match up with all the Avengers. Otherwise, I, we just get. 90 minutes of Whiplash getting his ass beat again. Right. But, so I actually liked Whiplash as a character. As a character? How they executed him was shit. How they... Yeah. Fighting, no. Because he was easily beatable. But uh, Ultron... I have a lot of problems with Ultron. I don't know much about his character, but I don't think he's a sarcastic robot. I don't think he's Johnny Five with legs. And that pisses me off about Ultron because the first trailer we ever saw, we have this deep voice. And then they took away the static, and they made his voice almost human. Mm -hmm. There was a tiny tinge of metal in his voice, and that pissed me off, because the first trailer, I loved. I loved that Ultron voice, and it was dark and deep. And now it's, yeah, he's got a, he's got a bad agenda, but he's a sarcastic... Heard that, ladies? Dark and deep? Huh? Huh? He's, he's sarcastic, smartass, and, and I didn't like that. Like, when, Scar when uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver leave, when they see his plan of world domination or a uh, world explosion, he's like, "Oh, hey guys!" Oh, and I heard you chuckle, and I'm like, "No, this is a big evil robot. Why is he being funny?" I chuckled because of who they chose. They chose the fucking legendary James Spader to voice uh, Ultron. Who, if you don't know, most recently he's Red Reddington on the Blacklist, a show you should be watching if you're not. He was Alan Shore on uh, Boston Legal. He's 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 a very he's a creepy. His characters tend to be creepy, maniacal, super intelligent, evil motherfuckers uh, in a lot of cases. So it didn't take me out of it that he played the voice of uh, Ultron because he's he's he can play those sociopaths. He can That's play it. those evil. Yeah, that dude. Okay, I don't, I don't know him from anything. Um, Watch the blacklist. Is that him or is that an SNL skit? I uh, know that's him. Okay. Um, that's why I, I don't know him hair. from anything. That was Johnny Five. He was way too sarcastic and smartassy and making jokes. I understand their gimmick was trying to say, well, it was Tony Stark's blah 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 in him, but mm -hmm. it wasn't. First of all, it wasn't. You made him from the Infinity Gem. In Loki's scepter. Mm -hmm. So this isn't Tony Stark's personality in another robot. And so it's quirky and quirky and happy and funny. But he just happens to be evil. Fuck that. You're, you're not following continuity in your own movie. Not other movies to this one. In the own movie. I can understand that. And I can understand that from the perspective of... They kind of had a smart-ass villain in The Last Avengers and Loki. Loki had a lot of smart-ass comments because he was the little brother. And, and that's what he does. So you would want possibly... Uh, 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 a different tone in your villain. There's something else I hate. Avengers Part 1. Main villain Loki, and then a bunch of Chitari. Just a bunch of Chitari. Just millions of those aliens coming in, and each Avenger is taking out them one at a time. Avengers 2. Main villain Ultron, and a bunch of Iron Legions. Just a bunch of Iron Legions, and the Avengers are taking them out. One Avenger versus a bunch of Iron Legions, and they're taking them out in a city with a lot of dust and rubble and rocks flying up in the air. It was the same fucking action scenes over and over, except less in-air chasing with Iron Man, which was the best part of Avengers 1. I love seeing Iron Man fly around the city. We don't have it this time. We didn't have a lot of Iron Man this time at all. Mm -hmm. We had, There wasn't a lot of much. There was too much Hawkeye. There was a lot of Hawkeye. And yet, we didn't see any of his arrows hit anything. It was just a lot of this. No, they hit. They hit some of the. They hit some of the robots. It it, it almost feels like. Oh, okay, yeah, we saw a couple. It almost feels like, especially 
watching the end of the movie that they were trying to set Hawkeye up in a more prominent role for the next sequel. No, he's, he's leaving. Really? And so is Cap, and so is Iron Man. See, I knew Downey was, was, was tapping out. After Captain America Civil War. So Iron Man will be in the next Captain America movie. They're going to fight each other. No, but I thought the rest of them were in negotiation and they weren't out. I thought I thought Downey was the only one who was out, and everybody else as far as I like, know, is in everyone, negotiations next. As far as I know, almost everyone. Hence the new Avengers team at, at the end. Spoilers! Hence the new Avengers team <laughs> at the end is um, they're all they're all leaving from what I know. I mean, I don't know about Captain America because he was supposed to be out before this one, and then maybe he renewed. I don't know, but I think Hawkeye will be gone. He went home. That was the end. We're not getting a, a standalone Hawkeye movie. We all know that. It's not on the list. So. We don't need it either. Hawkeye no, we don't need a standalone boring. Hawkeye movie. There's just going to be Smallville. All over. That was my problem. We had Smallville. We had an episode of Smallville in the middle of Avengers. Yeah. And Samuel L. Jackson showed up because Samuel L. Jackson used to be there. It was funny because the first time we see them land and I see the farmhouse, I'm like, oh, so is Black Widow going to recover in a tub like Raphael did in Ninja Turtles <laughs> back in 1990? Like, this is is the same shit. They get their asses beat. Somebody's got to recover there in a farmhouse. You know, okay. they were complaining um, from the videos I've watched about Thor not being in a lot. He left in the middle of the movie. But in my opinion, he came right back. Yeah, I thought Thor had a, had a pretty decent role. He was in it a lot. Yeah, and he wasn't, and, and they explained his absence well enough. He wasn't just gone. He was, yeah. gone, he was going on a mission to get and, one of the last pieces of the And they're setting up the next Thor movie, and that's fine. But he came back to revive uh, Vision. I don't know if that's the story or not. I don't think it is in the comics. From what I know, Ultron made Vision. Vision went to the Avengers to kill them and then saw how much they cared about each other and decided not to kill them and join them, which was, all right, they showed that for one split second where he attacked Thor and then saw the city and re reevaluated his life. I was like, what? What are you looking at buildings for? And you're like, never mind, I'll join you guys. <laughs> I thought the building sure to change my mind. I thought it was just narcissistic and looking at himself like, damn, I am beautiful. Everybody has to look at me. I'll save all, all humanity. I have to see who the actor was playing the event, uh, vision. You talk about uh, it. Meanwhile, uh, one of the shining elements of it was uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, she, much better in this than in fucking Godzilla, because Godzilla, her character, was a waste of fucking space and a waste of time. It was like, why the fuck are we focusing so much on this nonsensical fucking nurse who seems to be super fucking human. At least in this one, she actually was superhuman, which was nice. And showing uh, clearly that she is head and shoulders the only Olsen with an iota of fucking talent. Mm -hmm. And the only Olsen who looks human, who looks attractive. Because mm -hmm. let's face it, her older sisters look like wet chihuahuas, all right? So, and, her, and she's got a, and she can act. She can emote. And cleavage. And cleavage. And she's got and she, well, another thing that her sisters don't have. That's the weirdest thing, though, is um once she put on her Scarlet Witch outfit at the end because they had a jacket that was in red that fit her mm -hmm. in the Avengers Tower. Of yeah. course, she um, act, she looked completely different. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Well, it turned into cleavage, but I'm like, all right, this is good. Yeah, let's show her cleavage. But then when she's when she's mourning the death spoilers of Quicksilver and drops to her knees, do we have to zoom in on her cleavage then? We're supposed to be crying. Not getting boners over her cleavage. Well, I was like, that's a little inappropriate. You can just show her face. Just show her face. You don't have to go there and mini skirt and cleavage. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Well, she's trying. She's trying to make her mark on Hollywood. She's trying she to did. be. I think she's great. I, I Although thought she a lot of people too. complain that she dropped in and out of accent, and I, she did drop in and out of accent a couple times. Yeah. But she did. She's one line that sold me on her because I wasn't sold in the beginning. Quite yet, because I don't think Scarlet Witch or Quicksilver is supposed to have accents, so it pissed me off. But she was in the ship, in the, the graveyard of ships, mm -hmm. talking to da-da-da-da, and Iron Man and Thor and Captain America come in there, and they say something to Ultron. And she goes, oh, we will. And I was like, the way she said it, I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you just sold me. Like, I believe you now. I believe you're a fucking badass, and you're a bitch, and you're going to fuck shit up, and then you do weird things with your hands, and yeah. it's cool. She, did, she does all that Dean Ambrose. She's very... Dean Ambrosey. Mm -hmm. um, so my joke failed because I had to look up who plays Vision. The voice of Jarvis is the dude that's playing Vision. Right. So I thought maybe they may have superimposed his voice in there. I was wondering that too. I'm like, that is that the actual actor? He might be a voice actor. I don't yeah. know if it's the same Jarvis in the other ones, but it goes that, that deep into it. My joke was at the end, the new 
Avengers come out, I thought I thought the Jarvis, sorry, I thought Vision, I thought he was a black actor. With the makeup on, he looks black. He's mm-hmm. got the prominent lines here. I thought he was a black guy. So I'm going to go, and Black Avengers, because we got War Machine, yeah. and Falcon, and Vision could be black. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's, it's, a, it's a whole new well, team. He, well, Vision's brown. Vision's, Vision's a dark guy. Vision's Vision, annoying. We, we, can, we can count Vision as a brother. Vision is um, purple. We can, close actually, enough. Yeah. Close, close, close enough. enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, War Machine makes a late save at the end, and I'm like, because as they were doing it, I'm like, why isn't War Machine here? Yeah, why we saw him earlier. Why isn't Captain? Why why aren't any of the superheroes that we saw partying See? at Avengers Tower yes. helping them? Like clearly they yes. need help because <laughs> we know Falcon is a part of the Avengers. Anyone that knows comics or even watches the cartoon knows Falcon is in the Avengers. They introduced him in the last Captain America, mm-hmm. and I'm like, cool. We add him to Avengers too. We know War Machine has been a part of the Avengers at one point or another. Right. He was in uh, Iron Man three and Iron Man two. It's like okay. Throw him in the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Avengers is is this giant. Well, well he was off, he was also in Iron Man, but uh, that was they, they don't, no, that was someone else. They, they, don't, they don't like talk about. He's dead. They don't like talk about Terrence. Howard. Um, what what bothered me, and I was gonna lean over to you and say it was, you're like, oh, there's War Machine, and then he he shot his bullet a couple times, and then Iron Man flew up next to him, and I was gonna lean over to you and go, that's all we get, because <laughs> we got one more scene of him just shooting his machine gun, and then it was it. And we showed his face inside the helmet a couple of times. And I'm like, we couldn't have a cool-ass War Machine moment? Why? I wonder, you know what? I wonder how they juggled the budget for this. Because oh, don't be- get me started because like that. they spent the money on Don Cheadle. And I'm sure he don't come cheap. They spent the money on the dude who played uh, Captain America's sidekick, whose name I don't know. In this one? Yeah. His uh, sidekick? Or his partner or whatever. Oh, Falcon? Falcon. They spent the money on Falcon. They spent the money on Colby Smolders, who I guess needs to be in every Marvel thing now. And they made mention of Natalie Portman and uh, Pepper Potts. But they didn't spend the money to put them in it for some reason. Which is interesting because in the last Iron in Iron Man 3, wasn't Pepper Potts all badass and superhero-y? Obviously, they're not going to have the money for her. Um... They Please. You mean it's, they don't have money? No, they don't have the money to invest in whatever the fuck. They don't. You want to know why? Why not? I'm going to tell you. Because Robert Downey Jr. got a $40 million payday. Didn't was There was something about the now, last Avengers where they were talking about contracts and trying to get them all level, Robert right? Robert Downey Jr. is probably going to leave. No, I didn't hear that. They were trying to get they're them not all level. They're not level. They were trying, uh, to get them, they were trying to get them all level. But they're not. Because Captain America... Signed on to be Captain America a long time ago and signed his life away. Uh-huh. So from what I heard, he's not getting much. I don't know what it is. Maybe a couple of million. Then Robert Downey, get, Robert Downey Jr. gets forty gets, gets. plus all the supporting cast, mm-hmm. and they definitely didn't spend the budget on graphics because the first five minutes in the snow, I'm just nitpicking left and right. Like, okay, well, motorcycles don't weigh nothing, mm-hmm. so they and they're also not ten thousand pounds. So when you jump off of, of a of a jump, Captain America, it doesn't go like they they haven't got physics down yet in the Avengers. They don't understand how things fall and at what speed. They don't understand terminal velocity because Harry Potter had this problem when Harry Potter's flying around a broomstick and they're playing whatever Quidditch or something, something like, that. like that. When he falls off his broomstick, he falls too fast, and it bothered me because my eye catches that kind of shit. So it was like watching it on one of those super 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 HD TVs where they speed it up a fraction of a second so it looks more real almost everything in this movie and marvel loves trying to stop subways we we can't stop this subway <laughs> what are we gonna do that and people falling from the sky and when that subway came to its end that dust in front of the subway of the, the concrete cracking looked like something i could have made on a flip phone it See, was so bad that's interesting that you noticed that what i noticed was uh, there were a lot of shots of there were a lot of news copter shots, if you know what I'm talking about. The aerial shots that kind of like zoom in and then quickly zoom out. Yes, yes. That seemed to be like and and it came up a few times and I'm like, what are they covering up for? <laughs> like, why is that? Like, I get that's cool, except call you that. That's cool, except if, except this many times it makes me feel like you're covering up. There's that, and um, whoever was their their 
their cameraman went to the school of WWE filming where when there's an action scene happening, it goes, whoa, whoa, <laughs> and like the Hulkbuster Hulk scene, I wanted to see that more than anything in this movie. Mm-hmm. And it was very reminiscent of Iron Man 2 where I'm just getting dizzy because they're just zooming in and just fucking, we don't know what we're doing with the camera. We don't really want to show because we spend a lot of money on this Hulkbuster technology, uh, sorry, uh, graphics. So it's just, and why was that taking place so much in the air? These are two probably thousand pound individuals, mm-hmm. and and they're just wee. like what the hell? Now now bringing bringing that full circle, uh, we're talking about WWE and that scene. Uh, I did enjoy the part where Iron Man had him pinned down or had him either against the wall or on the floor. I think it was on the on the, the ground. Jackhammer? Yeah, and he was just jackhammering. I'm like, floor. I'm like, I want to see that spot in wrestling. I want to see somebody <laughs> just do just rapid fire shots yeah. to somebody's that, face. I'm that, like, I'd love to see that, that spot. That was, you laughed. I laughed the first time I saw it, but I saw it come, or I knew it was coming this time. That was one of the best scenes of that fight. That's why I laughed. I'm like, I'm like, that could be a spot. Speaking of that fight, I don't think Hulk can lose a two. I think that was the point. I think I think the point. Well, no, because Hulk can get scarred up, right? Hulk can Hulk has know. scars, right? I don't know. And I it didn't. Yeah, I think Hulk can get scars. Because I mean, if we're going movie universe, I put a bullet in my mouth and the big guy spit it out, which means the inside of his mouth is just as strong as the rest of him. Mm-hmm. How is he losing a tooth by getting punched by a metal fist? Because it's Hulk Buster, so maybe Tony Stark designed something with physics and yada yada yada. Speaking of magic. metal. Vibranium is the animantium of the Avengers universe. Mm-hmm. It is the strongest metal on Earth. Fine, I'll accept that. It's Same, not the strongest metal. The Avengers universe doesn't have animantium yet. Right. And they never will because Fox owns it. So I'll accept that. Vibranium, not animantium, strongest metal on Earth, unbreakable. We saw Cap Shield broken in a dream, but it's a dream, so it doesn't count. Okay. Now, we know Ultron went to a ship and bought all of the vibranium from Gollum. And Caesar, and he's one of the same. And good on Andy Circus for for not being a CGI guy. He, I think he did great. Um, my all the vibranium because I'm going to now make a bunch of memes. Now, first of all, Ultron is made out of vibranium, adamantium. They didn't show that. The trailer showed it. The trailer showed the the melting metal on his hand. They didn't show him being made out of the vibranium, which pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Two, you're making an army out of adamantium, vibranium. They show that. They actually show the giant metal dick coming out vibranium and amantium. So therefore, the strongest metal on Earth can get broken by human fists. Because Quicksilver's punching them and they're shattering. Ca- uh, Captain America's punching them and kicking yeah. them and they're shattering. Yeah. I'll understand Hawkeye maybe shooting something that can pierce it and explode it. Um, Scarlet Witch can probably take it apart. Samuel Jackson grabs some random shrapnel and stabs it in the head when it when it comes through the window in their big airship. What the fuck? It's unbreakable. It's the strongest metal on earth, and those things are falling apart like Legos. Which, by the way, that house was not Legos, if you notice, for some reason. You've got a contract with Marvel. Why wasn't it real Legos? Anyway. <laughs> that pissed me off so much. No continuity within the same movie. Is that yeah, that's a, that's a great point. I mean, Cap <laughs> Shield. Cap Shield is made out of it, and he throws it at Ultron, and it goes through him at one point, and he's stop it. I'm like, first of all, stop being funny. You're an evil robot. And then he throws it's James it. James Spader. I love James Spader. He throws it, but it went into him. Yeah. I don't even think vibranium can hit vibranium and cut it. I don't know how that. I works. would imagine. I would imagine the same material can break the same material depending on the shape and all that other Possibly, stuff. Possibly, but man, did they just fucking ignore the fact that we're using vibranium throughout the whole goddamn movie? I didn't like it. I didn't like that. I didn't like the movie, but I didn't like that. In multiple parts leading up to why I didn't like the movie. Damn, this is going on. Um, I know I have more. I have to think about what I saw. Um, um, okay. Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. I love you, Pepper Potts. Jarvis, let's do the self-destruct. Let's, let's blow all my suits up. All right, you got it. And guess what? I'm going to get surgery, and I'm going to take this out of my chest. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to throw it in the ocean. Okay. I don't know how long it was in between Iron Man 3 and Avengers 2, but he has his suits back. Yeah. And he has 
Iron Legions. So he's tinkering again. He wants to do it. And he's, he's made the Avengers Tower able to build them on their own and repair them. So he doesn't have to use all his time doing it. However, can we answer why? That was a huge... I was like, I want to find out why he has his suits again. Why is he Iron Man again? He mm -hmm. quit being Iron Man in Iron Man 3. I want to know why he's back to doing it. Nope. Just nope. He's, he's Iron Man. That's all we need to show you. Go buy the toys. Okay, I'm going to buy the toys. Now, but, Cap Captain America came out in between that, right? The second one? Uh, the soldier? Yes, I, I think so. See, I didn't see that one. So they didn't they didn't address they that don't at all? Even, they don't address anything Iron Man in Captain America 2. They hmm. might say his name or something. But, um, and they probably say, you know, the events of New York, Avengers 1. But I don't remember which one was which. It doesn't matter. They don't talk about it. They don't Maybe. talk about it. Thor Part 2, they don't fucking address it. There was no post credit scene. It was just him and Hulk talking. There's nothing. Maybe. He's not Iron Man anymore, and now he is. They don't tell us. I want to know. Is that one of those things that happens in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., maybe? That is why we should watch everything Marvel? As far as I That's know. why we should buy all of Marvel stuff? I don't think so. That's why we should partake I mean, I in the Marvel can universe. Tell us. You can comment below if you know. Yeah, comment below if you know. What sure. else? What else did you hate about this movie? Um, I hated. How did you feel about uh, the Hulk and uh, Hulk's romance thing I, there? I, I wonder if it happened in the comics. Is Black Widow a slut? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that went that went viral. Yes, I, there was a romance with Hawkeye in Captain America Two. She wants to be with Captain America. At least it seems. Maybe that's not where they were going at the end of it, but she flirts with them and they kiss and stuff like that. But it may have all just been for the mission. But still, she was she looked like the romance interest of him in that movie for a minute. And now she wants to fuck Hulk. Um no. I didn't buy that at all. I didn't like it. I didn't need it. I don't need that back it's not even a backstory. I don't need that extra waste of space. You can show me more War Machine and Iron Man flying around yeah. instead of a romance between them. I'll completely accept that it's a girl touching him that can make him calm. Mm -hmm. Betty Ross. Fine. But not the whole thing they did. I I did not like that at all. It, it felt like a whole waste. It came off to me like they were desperately trying to justify paying Scarlett Johansson as much money as they paid for her to be in this movie. And trying to find different ways of working, of putting her on screen, working around her pregnancy where she didn't have to do a whole bunch of fighting. And it's where fine. There were, there were, there were, Because those scenes with Hulk were a lot of close-up shots. Yeah. But because they're supposed to be tender moments. So it's a lot of close-up face fine. shots. It felt like they were trying to justify that. They definitely that showed her body off in previous uh, Marvel movies. But, you know, she wasn't doing those head scissors in Hurricane Rana. It was a, yeah. a stunt person yeah. was. Yeah. First of all, Grow your hair back out. And secondly, use a stunt woman. So it's they didn't need that. It was stupid. Speaking of romances, Scarlet Witch and Vision get married at some point. They didn't even tease that in this. I thought when she was going to say, I can read him, she was going to start to maybe show some sort of, I'm, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm infatuated with this thing or I love this thing mm -hmm. just basically because I can read its mind already when they were building it. Then he saved her in the subway. He came and grabbed her. Right. And and even then, it was a look, but it might not have been on purpose. It, it was a look between the two, but he saved her. I can understand her being grateful. I want to. I wanted a, a, a hint on that, a little teaser, or something. Uh, we'll probably get that in the next Avengers movie. Yeah, but something. They're both in this one. Why not allude to it? Well, I guess because she wants to. Be with her own brother. So. All right, my sure. synopsis, my overall score. We're gonna cut this. We're gonna get out of here. Is um not as good as the first Avengers. I think the first Avengers was just mind blowing. It was fucking amazing. Uh, I, so on a scale of one to the first Avengers, I would give this one probably a uh, solid seven point five, seven point seven five at points. There were some, there were some laggy moments, like we we're talking about with the Hulk and the. And uh, Black Widow romance and stuff. And I think the farm thing was a little bit too Americana. But it gave Hawkeye something to do and some characteristic to uh, to associate with him. So overall, I enjoyed it. It was better than average, I thought. And uh, give it a solid 7.5, 7.5. So if you're going to go on a scale of one, 1 to Avengers, I give it... 
Spider-Man 3. Because wow, there was a lot of shit I didn't like. Like, a lot. Mm -hmm. The only cool stuff was a few of the action scenes. And, I don't know. For me being like an Iron Man mark, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I, really? I, I needed more, and it was two and a half hours. And, I, and then, yeah, I needed more. But I needed more. I needed more explanation of things. I want to know the name of the suit um, Iron Man was wearing at the end. Because they always showed, like, up close mark whatever number, mm -hmm. or you would say Mark 34 like 1,800 times in, a, in Iron Man 3. Mm -hmm. I want to know the names of these suits, because um, that's part of, that's what we've been doing the whole time. And, and, and as much as we gave him credit, uh, whatever his name is, the director. Oh, we. As much as we gave him credit for sticking with comics and showing respect to the people that, that read the comics or maybe follow the cartoon or whatever like that. He didn't in this one. There was a lot left out. Casting, good. We did casting great. Yes. But there was a lot left out. A, le a lot to be desired. And um, you give the same score as Cotton Rotten Tomatoes. 75%. That's, that's not fantastic. That's not fantastic. That's solid. That's solid. It's a C. It's above average. It's a C. It's above C is average. Yeah, you're right. Well, 75% is a C, high C, high C plus. It's a C, no, it's C plus. A, it's, down, it's right down the middle C because 80% is a B. 70% is a C. 70 to, 70 to 80. 70 so to 80. So it's a middle ground it's a 75, C. Yeah, it's a C. Yeah, it's just a C. That's not Well, 76% is a C plus. I, you know what? If you were Asian you came up with a C, you're fucking disowned. <laughs> if I were Asian I came up with a C, I wouldn't be Asian anymore. I'd be no. homeless. <laughs> um, so... And so you gave it Spider Man three, which would I'm which, gonna give it, which would equate to what fifty percent? Yeah, because uh, I think I liked less than fifty percent of the movie. Hmm. So yeah, I'll go with fifty percent, just based on the whole Quester fight alone can can raise up its score. Like it did, that's like extra credit. I'm gonna give some extra credit for the whole Quester fight because mm -hmm. actually finally gave us a whole Quester and I got a whole Quester toy out of it. So thank you for that. But um, other than that. Is backwards. Yeah. You guys are saying this is a C, right? C? Something like that. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's uh, my Trapzilla's review of uh, Age of Ultron. This will probably be up tomorrow. Well, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of editing, just the intro and the exit. It just takes in fucking forever to uh, export. Um, watch some of my other videos. I'm still purging shit out. Uh, like, comment, share. Go to his channel. The T H A next big thing zero. Uh, look him up on Instagram, the Kyle Webb, uh, and all that stuff. And at some point, we're gonna convince him to get a Twitter so that he can get everything. He can get more viewers. I think that helps and maybe help his other day job too. Uh, and now he's just making funny faces, which is weird because he's yeah. See. Oh. oh. Are you throwing up? That's what I have to live with. This guy right here. We don't live together. Not yet. Cast oh. Ghostbusters reboot. Suplex City, bitch. Peace. Suplex City, Suplex City, bitch. Suplex City, Suplex City, bitch. Suplex City, Suplex City, bitch. Suplex City, Suplex City, bitch.